God not abandoning the soul of Christ to Hades simply means this. He didn't leave Christ in a state of death. But as the preaching of the resurrection goes forward, he's saying this. His soul wasn't abandoned. God raised him out of his great concern for his beloved son. For three days he stayed in the tomb, but up from the grave he arose, a mighty conqueror over his foes. Though he did die, he was not abandoned to Hades. He was not abandoned to the state of death. Though Christ died a real death, God the Father took concern for him as a father by divine command, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and by the glory of the Son of God, as the song says, the buried body then began to breathe. And here's the joy. Here's what Easter is all about. Here's why we just had a feast at downstairs for breakfast. Because his death counts for you. His resurrection makes way for yours. His burial says that your burial will not be the be all end all. The Father's concern for Christ to be raised is now given also to you because all of you can be in Christ. That's the whole point. Jesus in our place. Not only Jesus Christ with us and Jesus Christ over us, but Jesus Christ for us. Because Christ was not abandoned in Hades, despite the suffering of an excruciating, humiliating death of the cross, because He was not abandoned in the state of death, but because His Father took concern for Him, so He will for you also. And Peter preaches this message, and it says, what, is, what happens to them? Verse 37, Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? They hear that the one that God has vindicated by raising him from the dead was the one which a few weeks ago they whipped and nailed and laughed at. And so they say, We're cut to the heart. What shall we do? Is there any hope for us? Is there any peace for us, the very ones who are guilty of His death? And there is hope. And so if there is hope for them, there's hope for you. Verse 38, And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus was not abandoned in Hades, neither will you be because on the cross he nailed your sins and in the tomb he left them there but he got out to live forevermore and so get up wake up sing loudly preach often laugh mock evil overcome sin forgive your father love your wife Believe in the Lord Jesus, repent of all your sins, be baptized, sober up, clean up, and come to the table and feast because Jesus Christ is alive. Let's pray.